Okay, so let's start off by um, searching in YouTube uh, the duck song. Uh, I don't know how my daughter came across this one time. It's actually a, a fun song. And already, right away here, third one down. So you know, I'll play it just to see. Even in the description, the video is not made for kids. Hello, welcome to the You of How To. My name is Sherbel Tawil, and for today's video, we're going to look at two different ways to generate safe links to share YouTube videos with our students without having to worry about them getting too distracted and clicking on those recommended videos on the side. And not just the distraction part, but also make sure that they are not clicking on those videos because they might end up getting to some inappropriate content that you did not intend for them to get to. So we're going to look at two different websites that will generate those links. We will talk a little bit about the differences between those two websites and hopefully one of those websites will seem useful to you. If you find this video helpful, click on the thumbs up, share the video with someone you think will also find this useful. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and click on that notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new tutorial video. So let's find out how we can share YouTube videos safely. Okay, so let's go back to the duck song. Okay, so back at the duck song. Okay, so if we open it up. Okay, so if we take that link, copy, and so we take one of these two options here. Okay, so it's safeyoutube.net is the the website that you go to. And this is a very quick, easy, you know, kind of like an in and out, get a safe link and and be done with it uh, kind of website. Okay, and Safe Share TV, there's a few differences. So with Safe YouTube, you will just scroll down and paste your YouTube link, okay, the link to the video, and generate a safe link. And there it is, done. Okay, and so with this safe link, uh, you have a few options. Um, you have the URL that you can just copy and paste into, uh, say, Google Classroom or however you want to send this link, you know, through an email. Uh, you can test it out first by hitting go to safe view and see what it looks like. Okay, and so I guess I can do that really quick and show you. There it is, the duck song. Okay, and it automatically starts playing and it'll play the full video, okay? That's kind of like the default. So let's say I didn't want that, okay? I, I guess before we get into that, so uh, that's the URL. You do have the option for HTML code if you want to embed this into, say, a Google site that you might have, okay? And then there's this BB code that's a bulletin board code, okay? So uh, we're gonna keep it with the URL. And so the default is play the full, video entirely and automatically play it as soon as someone goes to that link. Okay, so we can customize it and change a few things. So if I hit customize, it gives me an option to change the title. So let's say we call it demo. Uh, we can change the background. Let's just for fun, make it blue. Uh, we can toggle any of these options off. So sharing buttons, maybe we don't want them to share it or download it. Okay, and we don't want it to start automatically, so we can turn that off. All right, and let's say we don't want the full video, we can crop. Okay, and let's say we just want the first, I don't know, let's say the first 10 seconds. Okay, uh, first 11 seconds, sure. Oh, there we go, first 10 seconds. Okay, it'll play to show you what, what you are going to do. And so just to show you, if I say I want this portion, it'll start to play from the beginning of that selection that you chose, okay? So let's just keep this. Uh, let's say we want 10 seconds, nine seconds, okay. So we hit okay, and it summarizes it there for you. From 41 to 50 seconds will be played. And so you save it, and there's that link again, and you can test it, go to safe view, and you can see I have that blue background now. The title has changed to demo, Okay, so if you wanted to title this, you know, um, maybe the name of an assignment that you're giving, that kind of thing. And you can see I took off the, uh, I toggled off the auto play option. So now I actually have to hit play 
to get it started. And even though it still shows down here the full 3 minute 11 seconds of the video, it won't play that. So once I hit play, it starts at the beginning of the selection and it will only play that 10 seconds that I selected. Right, so it should stop at 50 seconds, and there you go. Okay, and then that's it. And uh, that so you get your link, you use it where you need to, and you're done with it. Okay, and so there's nothing wrong with that option at all. Okay, so what's the difference then with SafeShare TV? So if you see here, I'm already logged in. So SafeShare TV, you can actually create a login. Actually, you have to create a login. And so I just logged in with my Google account. Okay. And so you have these options by logging in and it's all free to begin with. Um, so you have your dashboard where you can save your generated links. You can create playlists, let's say per, per class, per period, um, that kind of thing. Okay. And then there's some settings and there are pro features that you can, you know, pay to have if you want to like unlimited safe views. Okay, so just to show you, it works the same way. Go to this spot right here and paste in that YouTube link. Okay, and it will create that safe view. Okay, so it automatically shows you this safe view link that's generated. Okay, it's on autoplay, so it starts to play right away. Okay, and so I can click on the watch option, and this is what it would look like. Okay, so I got my login, I'm signed in, the duck song, you know, the description that came along with the duck song. Uh, I have the option to share it or loop that kind of thing. Okay, and it automatically again will play the full video. And so I can just go to this link up here, copy it and paste it where I need it. All right. So I can also go to edit and in edit I can choose the selection that I want. Okay, so I have the video here to, to go back and reference. Uh, you know, if I say, okay, let's start at 20 seconds. That's where I want to start. I can draw this back to 20 seconds and go from there. Okay, let's say we want another short selection. One second long, maybe a little too short. Three seconds, sure. Okay, we can change the title, demo. This actually gives us an option to change the description. So let's say this was some kind of assignment. I can maybe give the description of that assignment or what I want my students to do with the video. Okay, so I can I can have that option. And then you see down here, I can create a playlist. So uh, let's say we want this for period one. I am a high school teacher, we teach different periods. And so period one. Okay, so now that that playlist is added, you can see it's checked off. This video has been added to that playlist. Uh, let's say I add another playlist. Okay, let's say I teach the same course period two and I want them to, to see this video as well. Okay, now that I added period two, both periods are selected. Okay, so I have that kind of saved for both of my classes. And I have the option to select those options and so we save it see if use updated and so just to show you you would literally just copy this link paste it say into your Google classroom however you share your links and it will take them directly to the video okay and remember I chose only three or four seconds or four seconds and so that's the full length of the video there okay and that's it and the, you can see that the description is gone. It counted how many views. Okay, that was one view. Uh, you, and you know, you have some other options to choose. Okay, and so if you go to dashboard, you can really quickly see uh, you have one safe view. We created those two playlists. Okay, and um, like I said, there are some, some subscription premium features here uh, to get unlimited safe views. Okay, but it's not necessary. And so there's your difference. Okay, safeyoutube.net, throw in the link and you're kind of ready to go almost instantly. You can perform some minor customizations, cropping, whatever you need, and it's in and out. And with SafeShare TV, you can create an account. You can save these, uh, you know, to reuse later on. So if you, you don't want to have to go back and do this again in the future, you kind of 
keep that there you have the option to change description so a few different features but in the end both two very good ways to keep your students from watching uh, inappropriate content or being distracted by recommendations and kind of veering off and watching more and kind of you know wasting time and getting distracted okay so hopefully you found this useful and see you in the next one